you know what your number one cost of operation is? Odds are you said labor. Right. And if you did, you're partially correct. In reality, it's a subset of that. It's the unbillable portion of your direct labor. The time that you have to pay your field guys for that you can't bill somebody for. That tends to be your single greatest expense in the company. Think about it. What makes up that non-billable time? Drive time. That 45 minute cup of coffee in the morning. You know, the time the guys come in, grab the cup of coffee, takes them forever to get out of the office or out of, or out of the shop, all right? Uh, uh, trips to the supply house. Uh, Warranty work, callback work, windshield time, uh, uh, customer no-show time, the time they spend in the driveway waiting for a customer to get there. That is your single greatest expense. Again, all of that time is time that if they had been billing out, would have brought in tremendous amounts of revenue. And it hurts you in two ways. If we take a look at a typical company, I'm looking here at Ben's Comfort Air, we're looking at one of our new software uh, reports that we've got uh, in our Planning for Profit software. And if I look at that, in Ben's service department alone, on this report I can see anything under the red banner is non-billable time, and we're looking at wages here. What are we paying them while uh, for, for that time that we can't bill out? And so as I look at Ben's time here, right, I see that, you know, in his service department, Randy has $15,600 in wages that I need to pay him that I can't bill somebody for. And that's just the time he's allocated to this department. John here has another $22,800 and Ben has $13,900. In that one department alone, we have $52,000, more than $52,000 in wages that we need to pay out that we can't bill somebody for. That's just the service department. When I go a little bit farther, I can see in his installation department, there's another $32,000, and in his replacement department, we have another $60,000 in wages that I can't bill out. By the time we go through and actually look at his entire company, he's got a grand total of $145,000 in wages that he has to pay out that he can't bill somebody for. How many people could you hire for that? And that's just the wage side. Let's go a step farther. If that time was actually spent engaged in billing activities, it would impact your company in a huge way. Let's take a look at our cost of non-billable time report. As I look at this report, I can see in my service department for Ben's company, right, his revenue per billable hour in service. In other words, how much revenue are we bringing in for every hour that we're billing out? His revenue per billable hour in service is $170 uh, and change. Now he had, if I move out of the way here, I can see in Ben's company, what made up those dollars, he had 2,478 lost hours. So when I do the math on that, $170 times two, uh, 2,478 dollars, that's $422,000 in lost revenue. That doesn't count the wages that we talked about a minute ago. Right, that's on top of this. So it's $422,000 that he, if he had billed out, it would have brought additional revenue into the company. We can look at the other departments. Again, I can see that his installation department, right? Well over $300, right? And, you know, so again, we see those individual departments that are there. You know, in this particular company and replacement, he's doing some other kind of work and so that's why you see his revenue per billable hour is just absolutely through the roof. But now look at this a little bit farther. You will never get these lost hours to zero because remember part of that time is holiday to, uh, paid holidays, vacation, sick time, things like that that we're engaging in the company. You can't give an employee a benefit and then beat him up because he used it. But if I can reduce those numbers by even a little bit, let's go down a little bit farther in this tool. And if I could get my guys to bill out in Ben's company an extra 10 minutes a day, in my service department, 10 minutes a day is 0.8 hours per week. That would generate, and if I jump out of your way here, that would generate an extra 6,000, right? Just double check the number, actually $6,800 in net profit at the end of the year. And it's, that's per technician. If you've got four technicians, multiply that times four. If I could ban them to bill out an average of 20 minutes per day, again, not per call, per day. We're now talking $14,000 per year in, a, in, in additional net profit at the end of the year. Pay attention to your non-billable time. It's the single greatest expense that you've got within your company.